Welcome to another sub 10 minute burger challenge. <laughs> yes! Here we go again. And today in the kitchen, he spends most of his time in our development kitchen working on psychic recipes. He was destined for the limelight. It's Benedict Slater. <laughs> Come on, Slater. <laughs> Okay, Ben, you know the rules. You get the same base ingredients to your burger as everyone else, but you're also allowed to bring in three special ingredients from home. Talk us through what you brought in. <laughs> well, I didn't bring them in from home, but first up, I got pancetta. I don't think anything should really be in a burger that isn't supposed to be there. Lettuce, no. Tomato, no. It's got to be beef, cheese, bacon, maybe some onions. So I've got the best bacon, pancetta. Second up, I've got the best beef fat in the world. Kush, how much did this cost? <laughs> Uh, 40 pounds including delivery. Oh! Pretentious or not, you decide. You've got, you got to get the best. You've got to get the best. If I'm honest, I don't think we're really going to be able to taste the difference. But let's find out. <laughs> um, <laughs> and what's in the mystery bag? Good burgers need good buns. Uh, that's patty and bun. Little brioche buns. But first, you have to win them. Ready for some questions? Absolutely not. <laughs> Our next contestant is Benedict Slater, a.k.a. Better Ben. Age 28 from London, UK, and his favourite dish is buttered crumpets. That boy knows a vessel for melted dairy fat. Best known for intuitive fridge raiding, as seen on The Ticking Tock. And his unique skill, well, he's Cush's biggest fan. Back to the studio to see how he gets on. Quick fire question number one. During your first mukbang, as a short with Kush, what did he get stuck in his teeth? A uh, frog pelvis. It was a frog hip bone. We like that. And we've got the medical term for it. <laughs> question two. What is the chemical called used to keep American cheese emulsified when hot? Sodium citrate. Oh, straight off. Correct. This is too easy. So chefy. Question number three. Come on. The best pickles are lacto-fermented, but what does lacto stand for? Uh, is it lactobacillus? It saves me giving you the three options. Correct! <laughs> One, two, three of your special ingredients. It's burger time. Let's do it! How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. You got feeling pretty good. You got it. You've got as much or as little of the 10 minutes as you need. You see, this is the thing. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going for the fast approach. It's a marathon, not a sprint. As usual, we can't control what Kush does in his 10 minutes. <laughs> Your time starts in three, two, one. Burger! Come on, Come on then. So, I think I'm going to start with a bit of prep. He's straight up. Brilliant. The classic, the, the classic banana throw. What burger battle would be complete without a burger right. throw? <laughs> but, but how Honestly, many have you got? he's been eating so many bananas. How many today? have you got? <laughs> Tweedledee whoa, and Tweedledee. Whoa, whoa, what's this? What are you doing? It's actually not quite thin enough. So, um, I'm going to put some kind of really, really thinly sliced onions on the bottom of my burger. But to do that, they need to be vafa thin. Um, just so they kind of cook all the way through and go a bit jammy. Right, next up, I'm probably going to prep my sauce. So, I wonder if I can have got that. Well done! It's the one well thing. Well done! It's the one thing. Do you know how many cloudy jars of pickles we've got? He was told specifically by Kush not to do that. <laughs> What the hell is that? <laughs> oh my god! What, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Drone cam as we've got gherkins going into a bowl. Ridiculous man. Slater, what's your plan with your sauce? So, burger sauce, really simple. Mustard, gherkins, bit of ketchup, bit of mayo, classic. I'm not really going to change it because I haven't really got the uh, extra stuff to do it with. So, I'm keeping one eye on my sauce and one eye on Kush. Which is quite tricky, but you always knew this would happen. That's how he's going to sabotage me. Slater, I'm just saying now, you've already gone past Kush's time and you haven't even yeah, started yeah, yeah. doing a burger. I reckon I'm at two minutes. I'm going to go into this pan with a load of beef fat. Why? Oh, that's Why? A, that is a good 20 quid's worth. Well spent. <laughs> I'm, basi I'm basically going to shallow fry my burgers to get like maximum crunch and surface area. So, I'm going to split these guys in two. So, salt on burgers, Ooh, loads of salt. Okay, so table salt on what look like meatballs, not burgers, if I'm honest. Yeah. So they go, they change into, into burgers in a sec. Onions go on here. What? And we press them in. Oh, nice. There's Tekkers. We press them in. That's not a thing, Slater. It is a thing. Yeah. You go in yeah. there. Oh, okay. See? Just so oil no, this puppy no up. No smashing at all. That's where he comes. He's got an oh. oiled paddle, minding his fingers on grade A5, A5 wagyu. A5 wagyu. 
So on the topic of burgers and fast food, you're not that fussed about the fast, you're just doing good food. Just doing good food. It's all a marathon, not a sprint. Right, I reckon I've had about five minutes now. So I'm going to start going in the pancetta because I want that to be hot. Yeah. Go over to disqualified. If I get disqualified, I'll be disqualified honourably. Prime ingredients to be respected. I kind of like this approach. So, so why did you go for pancetta here? These are wafer thin, which means when you're biting through it, you won't drag away a whole piece of bacon. Shatters it, like glass. Yeah, shatters like in glass. In a positive way. All right, so I'm going to go for a little flipper roux. How, how crunchy. Ooh. Oh, careful, Jeff. Splash back. So, no colour, which is annoying. Do you want my blowtorch? Do you want my blowtorch? Oh. So, pancetta colour is pretty fast. Nice. It's got quite there. a lot of... Uh, that was quick. Lovely. It's got quite a lot of uh, sugar in the cure. I hope I'm not up to eight minutes, but I reckon I might be. I'm, oh, these are toasted. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> quite a lot of smoke coming off his... Still no colour. <laughs> and now, did you make it? Contingency <laughs> buns, I like it. Contingency <laughs> buns. I'm also a man of contingency, like Ben Everill. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Now we've got oh, colour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting into oh, construction yeah. soon. Oh, we've got a little bit of American cheese. Could we go for a bit of this? Oh, oh, a oh, bit oh. of steam. Oh, 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 oh you're yeah. going to taste Yeah. Oh. Well done. So how are you feeling, Chef? Is it all coming together? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. You know what? I'm feeling zen, Barry. I'm feeling zen. Great. Oh, you can't see the stopwatch. So, we're going to need a sub 10 minute burger. That's all I'm saying, Slater. Double stack. Double cheese, double go, bacon, go. toasted go. bun. Here comes the sauce, the it. onions in the burgers. Any pepper? pepper yeah, cannon. just to finish. Just to finish. Just to finish. <laughs> no, because that's an extra ingredient, Kush. Nice try. <laughs> Ring the bell when you're happy. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent time and one hell of a stacked burger. That looks fantastic. Let's get into the sexies. Let's go. <laughs> Slater, great job. That is a good looking burger. I mean, as an approach, I think you've gone brave. You're the first person, as a chef so far, to take their time and make the best burger they possibly really? can. Respect really? the ingredients. Yeah. I mean, if I'd had 20 minutes, that would have been slightly better. It would have been nice to mince my own beef, you know. But um, beggars can't be choosers, I had 10 minutes. Hopefully, it took me 10 minutes. Or under, we'll see. But first yeah, cut into yeah. it. That's nice. Okay, Ooh, I'm nice. quite happy with that. So. Got a nice Ooh. bit of pink in there. I like the layering. Yeah, layering's quite nice. Cheers. 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 Mm. Bacon, you're right. Doesn't pull away. Mm. Snaps off. Great burger sauce. And that right side of meaty chew on the burger, mm. as in just pink in the middle, a little bit of char outside. Mm. I like the amount of fat. Mm. Obviously, mm -hmm. if we had slightly better mince, it'd be cool because you get that fat all the way through. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would have done differently in your 10 minutes? Yeah, I would have got the beef fat way hotter before mm -hmm. I put the burgers in. They kind of steamed for a bit, mm -hmm. which is fine because I can move them to... Different pan. Different pan. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably swap the mince out for like a proper burger blend mm -hmm. mince. Okay. Really cool. No, no. Damn delicious, eh? No. All of this means nothing if I haven't done it in 10 minutes, right? I'm going to go out there and say, it passes on taste for me. Does it for you, Baz? Of course it does. It's absolutely delicious. Spot on. It was also sub 10 minutes. Oh. So it does make the board. Yes. But before we can put it on the board, we need a name. Right. This burger is called Young... No. Where are you, no, where are you going? Go on, you keep committing now, you're here. <laughs> this burger is called Young, Dumb... <laughs> oh, hell what? <laughs> this burger is called Young, Dumb and Full of Beef Fat. Oh, and do you know what? It really is. <laughs> So, okay, right, and you're on time. Now, this is a bit backwards, because I know you were aiming to get as close to 10 minutes as possible, weren't you? Well, no. can I just interrupt? There was one moment when you said, I think I've had about five minutes, yeah. and you'd had four minutes, 57 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have an internal <laughs> clock in there. That yeah, is. it's a chef's clock. And point. before we tell you your time, what do you think you got? I think I got around nine minutes, 36. So, your time, I can reveal. Yeah. Nine minutes. 
27 seconds. <laughs> You seconds off. You said about nine and a half minutes. <laughs> I mean, Ben, that puts you at the bottom of the leaderboard. But <laughs> yeah! With a very tasty, but you said this is a marathon, not it's a, a sprint. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And arguably, that is 13 times better than the fastest marathon. Look, if my, so, <laughs> look, if my timekeeping's been the most memorable thing about this burger, <laughs> so be it. It was also <laughs> damn delicious. Good job. You're allowed to sign the table now, Ooh. and it's over to these guys at home to decide <laughs> who's going to do the burger challenge next. Comment down below. <laughs>